Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to create maps for Amori. What you're going to want to need for this is RPG Maker MV, Tiled 1.0.3, and finally you need to find a way to decrypt your game. I'll have a link to a tutorial for doing this in the top right. Hey everybody, it's Future uh, Me here, and I just realized that I never told anybody here how to um, open a Mori in RPG Maker. So um, in order to do that, you just open RPG Maker, go to File, Open Project, it'll, and then go into WW Playtest in Omori, Comment, and Steam. Then you go down to here where it says Game.RPG Project, and just press Open. There. Now it's, now it's all open. So the first thing you want to do is go into RPG Maker MV, and then click anywhere down here, press New, and I'll come up with this new map selection. Keep the name as normal, and what we want to focus on is over here, where you choose how big the map is in its height and width. From here, we added the properties to what we want. I'll put 15 by 15, and then once you're done, press OK. Now, we want to go into our settings, into our files, until we go under um, Amori in Steam, www playtest. If you don't have this, it's probably because you haven't decrypted your game yet. In here, we want to go to Maps, and then find Map 00 Template. With this, we want to copy it, and then paste. Then we rename it to whatever our map is. So, back in RPG Maker, our map is Map 518, down here. So we come back over here, and we name it Map 518. Now, we go back into Tiled. Press File, Open, and find Map 518. Now that we have our map open, we can see that we have all the layers already made. We have ground layers, same as character layers, and above layers, collision, and then regions. Ground layers are what your characters step on. Same as character, this is things that are at the same level, and above are the things that are above them. Collision is for collision, and region is for where enemies walk. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a small little map. And there, now that I've done my map, we add collision. In order to do this, we click over on the collision, and we have to make sure that we use tile collision tile set. In order to add tile sets, if you don't already have them, click this little spark, which is the paper with the little star, and it'll show up new tile set. Click browse next to source, which will go into your files. When you navigate into Mori, www playtest, and then go into image. From here, go down until you find tiles, tile sets, and you can find it in here along with tile sets of all other things. Now, back to this. Click on the red tile, and in the collision, make sure you stay in it. Click on all the things and drag over them where you want collision. In order to see better, you can also turn down the opacity on the collision layer. 
and there we go. We're almost done with our map. Now we can save our file, making sure that it's the .json. Go back to RPG Maker, and in here, add anything that we want to be interact. I want to add a um, watermelon in my map, so I'm gonna go to a map that has one. I found a, a watermelon in the dev room that gives you a rubber ducky when you smash it. I want to put it in the corner, so that's where I'm going to go find. In order to find out where I want to do it, I look at the coordinates in the tile map down at the bottom left. I want to put it right here, so I look at the coordinates. It said 1617 at the bottom. Down here, I will find 1617 and then paste my watermelon in. Now that I'm done, I can hit Control S to save and finally press play to see what I've done. You can press F9 on the map in order to go to a different one. Teleport and find your map. As you can see, everything is loaded with collision. Can you interact with this watermelon in order to get my